Hello everyone and welcome to another Motive tutorial video. My name is Chris and I'm going to be talking about really just the top buttons up here. I know it kind of looks confusing, there's a lot of things going on here, but I'm just going to kind of step through and explain what each one is. So the first one up here is the new project button. It creates a new project, it'll ask you where you want to save it. Next one is just the open folder, and this can be used for opening takes, opening projects, opening calibration files. If you ever need to open a folder, just go to this button right here. It can also be accessed with Control O. It is. The next one is just the save button. It saves everything in your project. So if you have a project, a bunch of take files, use this button and it saves everything. This button right here is the application settings. So this is everything from just the aesthetic look of things to some general functionality. The next one is the hide all panes button. And what this does is it completely clears your workspace except for the 3D perspective view. So the next row of buttons are all panes. So from here all the way up to here are all different panes you can have. So this one, for example, is the project pane move it around, customize it, close it, labeling pane over here. They're basically just really quick buttons and you can find all of these panes under view. I found the labeling pane, found rigid body defaults. They're all right under this view as well. These are just some kind of quick buttons to get there. Now the next three buttons are different viewports. So this basically takes this perspective view and it creates a copy of it. It's not quite a copy, it, it's just doing the same thing. So I can set this to be my perspective view. Maybe I could set this to a top-down view. And then let's grab another one, maybe move it right here. And we could use this to see the cameras. Remember, we could switch between camera and perspective with this button right here. So we could have the cameras right here, we could have a top-down view, and that's basically what these buttons allow you to do. These two buttons are both reference views. So if you have a camera that you move into the reference view, you can use these reference view ports to specifically just have that camera. The next thing I'm going to talk about are these drop downs. So we have the file drop down that has the first three buttons, new project, open and save, as well as importing and exporting data. You can also use these buttons and these open some recent files, like recent projects, recent takes, recent calibrations. Then the edit drop down can have some application settings. This is also where you can change some hotkeys, change some mouse controls. And then this button right here resets everything. It's, it's basically, I'll show you what it does. It basically will reset all of Motive so that it does the standard settings. So maybe if I change some stuff around, so let's say I constructed maybe a little odd looking perspective view, and I just want this to go back to normal and go to edit, reset application settings. Everything goes back to the very first time you open Motive. Then under view, like I said before, is all the top buttons from here over are under view, as well as the toolbars up top. So I can hide the, all of those toolbars right up there, get them back just with that button there. And then the tools will give you some panes that are not in these toolbars up here, but they're more specific tools like synchronization or volume accuracy. These are just tools that are not directly related to some of these panes on capturing data. And then this community drop down right here is great for when you need some help or if you want to go straight to the tutorial videos, straight to the wiki use this button right here, uh, giving us feedback, or just seeing our forums, seeing our other products, you can find it all right here. 
and then as help you can go to OptiTrack support, you can check for updates, uh, show the quick start, and then also the license folder is here. So if you ever are wondering where your license is, or if you want to check your license, just use the help and then license folder right here. And then there's this button that also just shows application folders so you can get the license folder right here and also some other things that your application uses that might be located on your C drive. And then you can also check the version of Motive with that button right there. All right, and that covers all of the toolbar buttons as well as the drop downs. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, thank you for choosing Optitrack.